Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another tutorial on sequences and series. To do this tutorial, you need to have done our first tutorial on arithmetic sequences. So for example, you should know that an arithmetic sequence is made up of numbers where the difference between each term and its successive term is the same. So for example, f the difference between 4 and 7 is 3, 7 and 10 is 3, 10 and 13 is 3, and so on. So the numbers we have here is an arithmetic sequence. And you should already know that the formula for calculating the nth term in an arithmetic sequence is Tn is equal to A plus bracket n minus 1 times d where a is the first number in the sequence so for our particular sequence that you can see on the screen here tn is equal to a which is 4 plus n minus 1 times d d is the difference between each term so it's n minus 1 times 3 Okay, so that is the formula for an arithmetic sequence. Now we're going to talk about what an arithmetic series is. So a series is when we add up the terms in our arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic series is the sum of n terms, n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So this is our, um, let's say this is our sequence, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22. And how many terms are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's seven terms here. Um, let's just do six terms. So if I ask you what um, S6 is equal to, now, the way we do that is we get this sequence and we add up the terms from T1 to T6. So it's these terms here. I have to add them all together. So I have 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13 plus 16 plus 19. Add it all together and that is my answer. Right? The, sum of terms from the first term to the sixth term of the arithmetic sequence. So I'm going to type all this in the calculator 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13 plus 16 plus 19 Oh, press the wrong button. And the answer is 69 now, what if I want to know the sum of um, the first 20 terms in this sequence? Well, the, what I'll have to do if I want to do it the manual way is I have to figure out all the terms after this seventh number. I'll have to go um, 25... Uh, 20a and I'll have to keep going get to the 20th one and then I'll have to add them all together now what I'm going to show you guys is a general formula for doing that okay because you don't want to do it the slow way it's going to take too long so let's go back to the sixth um, to the sum of the first six terms let's go back to s6 and let's think about um, the numbers that we have here and what they represent. Okay, um, so let's say I, I want the sum of n terms in the, th in the sequence. Okay, so the first term I have, the 4, I'm going to represent it using the symbols. So the 4 is A. Okay, remember how we said 4 is the first term, so 4 is A. Now, what is 7? Seven? 7 is A plus D. 
okay because d is 3 and 7 comes from 4 plus 3 and then I have 10 which is let me use a different color 10 is basically a plus 2d and then I'm going to give the last term a different symbol okay I'm gonna give the last term 19 I'm gonna call that L because remember we're trying to come up with a formula for the arithmetic series so we don't have to do it all manually so I have L on the end and where does 16 come from? Well, 16 comes from L minus D, right? Because L is 19 minus D, which is 3. So 19 minus 3 is 16. So 16 refers to L minus D. And then I have 13, which comes from L minus 2D, right? Because 2D is 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so now you might have realized um, what has happened um, is that I have quite a few variables now. And I can easily simplify the variables using like terms. So SN is now equal to, um, how many A's do we have? We've got A plus A plus A, so that's 3A. Uh, plus how many L's do we have? L, 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 3 L. All right, so the A's and the L's are gone. And the plus D minus D plus 2D minus 2D cancel each other out. So we have 3A plus 3L. Now, if we factorize that, then that becomes 3 bracket A plus L. Now, what do we notice about the number 3 uh, compared with the number 6? Okay, um, initially we had S6, right? If you guys remember, this was actually S6. So, if I want to get the number 3 from 6, what do I do? Well, I have it. So therefore, 3 actually comes from n divided by 2. And that is pretty much the formula for our arithmetic series with one last um, little modification and that is L is um, a bit hard to predict right so we're going to modify it and change L to the um, formula that we use to find out the last term in the arithmetic sequence which is that one oops which is this one so I'm gonna substitute that formula over here where L is so we can figure out the last term in the sequence. So it's going to be a plus n minus 1 d. And you can easily simplify this again. So I have n over 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d. And that is the final formula for figuring out the sum of n terms in an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so using this, I can answer the question, what if I want to find out in this particular sequence, um, the sum, find the sum of the first 20 terms in this sequence. in this sequence, in this particular sequence we have. Okay, so all we got to do is use the formula 
So sn equals int divided by 2 bracket 2a plus um, n minus 1 d. Okay, so put that into the formula. We got s20 equals 20 divided by 2 bracket 2 times a is 4 right because that was the first term plus 19 because 20 minus 1 is 19 D is 3 so putting all this into the calculator and the answer is 650 okay thank you for watching guys I hope you learned something on how to find the sum of n terms in an arithmetic sequence see you guys next time